Now, Fat Man Scoop works for MTV, I'm told. Eddie and Sal know who he is. You know, I'm a 50-year-old white guy. I have no idea who he is. So, I mean, but yeah, that's okay. They tell me he's a good guy. He joins us now. Fat Man Scoop, welcome to the program. Hey, Mike, how you doing? I good. mean, I wouldn't expect you to know. I don't. I, I apologize. So, But right, I gotta be, right. I'm got to be. i not going to lie and say I do. I don't know who you are. But you, t- right. the Eddie and Sal tell me you're a good guy, so that's good enough for me. Mike, I know I know all the young guys over there because I call at night from from time to time. They right. know me. Like, let, let me just give you a little a little a little background. Well, yeah, tell um, me tell me about you first. Go ahead. Basically, basically, I worked at Hot ninety seven for for fifteen years. Okay. So you know, I I, I was at the biggest station in hip hop music for fifteen years. Okay. Number one. Okay. I left there to do my show on MTV, which is called Man and Wife. It's on the air now. Okay. It's a sex and relationship show with me and my wife Shonda. So okay. You know, I'm doing that. I won. I've won two Grammy Awards, one with Missy Elliott for a song I did with her, one for Mariah Carey, both rap songs. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, and, you know, what I do for a living is I'm in the club. Like, I'm the guy that when you're dancing and you hear him go, hands up, they get your hands up and all right. that stuff, that's me. Okay, so th- right. they need no introduction. Now, explain explain to me why, what you got. I guess what you're going to tell me is the hip-hop culture is now married to and intertwined with the young black athlete in America, right? I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell you that, but I'm also gonna I'm also gonna start by saying number one, Plaxico Burris is a fool. Okay. Because you are not supposed to carry a gun making thirty five million dollars a year. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna also say something else. I know people who live on his street, so I know that that area up there. You're not supposed to be up there unless you know someone up there because it's twisty and turny or whatever. Um, from what I heard, I'm not sure. Now, wait, are you, are you talking about he, they shouldn't be up to where the club was? No, 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 where, where he lives. Oh, where he, where lives. he lives. Okay, yeah. Like, like that area right. is real. You know, you, you have those are million plus. Houses. Right, yeah, right. He lives in a real nice neighborhood, right. Oh, yeah. he lives in, like, like yeah. I drive past No, I know where he lives. No, I know yeah, where he lives, I, yeah. When I go see my people, my friend, I you know, I drive by right. him all the time. Right, right. But from what I heard, I can't confirm that. It's just the streets talking, quote, unquote, that somebody robbed him outside of his house. I don't know if that's true or not. Right. Now, I, I don't know if that's true or not right, either. Okay. Right. So... That I, now I'm thinking about why he was carrying the gun. How about but, how about the club but, they were in? Okay, so the the club now the club's a good club. That's, good that's, club, okay. Nice upscale club. That's, okay. that's that's a good club. Okay. I don't understand a. Do why guys you carry need, guns into that club? No, no. I, don't, I, I if he I'm, I'm figuring I'm figuring if he got in the club like that, it's probably because of who he was. So they do they want the guys when they come in that club? Do they of have a? Of course, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, they do. Okay, okay. You see, like in New York City after Mayor Giuliani, really kind of when the Giuliani administration, right. they started cracking down on all that type of stuff. You can't you can't operate a club in New York and just be you know uh, reckless with it. So you, you put you a security know. guard on the door and he wants guys to make sure oh, that they don't he, they're not carrying right. Not, even, not okay. only are you probably going to get a strong wand, you're definitely going to get a strong pat. You're okay. Get a strong pat like a vigorous okay. pat down. Okay. So, with, with, with he that gets mind, away with that because he's Plaxico Burris. Okay. Because because if I come in a club, if right. I walk in a club, right. I'm Fat Man Scoop. I'm not even pa- pa- Plaxico Burris, but usually they're gonna say Fat Man Scoop. He's not carrying a gun. Gotcha. He's a celebrity. And Why so Plax- a- so three and en- three giants show up. They can walk in the door. Three giants show up at a club. Right. What you gonna do, Mike? No, you're, you're gonna, gonna they're gonna applaud. You're going to applaud. You're going to say, right. oh, my God, I right. got three giants in my club. Right. You, the DJ's going to get on the mic, and the first thing they're going to say is, yo, shout to Plaxico Burris. Right. Shout to Antonio Pierce. Right. Shout to, you know, whoever, yo, yo, do your thing or whatever. Right. And that's how that's going to go. I got you. Now, for, with him carrying a gun, I just, I, I, I like, I, I can't, I, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. Now, if you did. Now, explain to say, me, explain this to me, though. Why are young athletes. So many of them carrying guns. I mean, what? What? You, 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 why are they carrying I'm, I'm, guns? Is it a status? Me, thing? Is it a status gonna, thing to carry a gun? No, I'm going to explain to you what it is. You have a bunch of young kids, right? Right. Who are making ridiculous money? Right. Right. Yeah. Who are still trying to do the things that a kid does, but what you don't understand, Mike, is that there are a bunch of extortionists and gangsters out here. And see, somehow, somehow, the young game, like like the athlete and rapper game, got kind of intertwined with the thug game. 
Okay. So you have a bunch. When you go to a club like that, you in any club, you got a bunch of you know you got a bunch of guys around, and not everybody has a happy face. You know, some dudes. Gotcha. When, when you walk out of that club, they're gonna try to rob you. Number two is you got a bunch of young athletes who are young and flashy and whim. So guy, you're, so jewelry. well, listen, guys in the neighborhood who see them come in the neighborhood, knowing who they are, are gonna are gonna they would consider them hey they're a target they're prey they're not going to treat them like being stars they're going to treat no, them like no. they're going to attack them you see you have to understand something out here there's people who have it and there are people who don't have it okay and you know something if you're out here and you're thugs and you're starving you don't care who it is I don't care if you caught a touchdown at 35 right. seconds with the 35 right. seconds left in the Super Bowl. Right. If I want your chain, and that means I'm quote unquote going to eat, I'm going to take your chain. Gotcha.